You lied to your men and betrayed the mercenaries who fought for you. What's happening to you, Arthas? Is vengeance all as important to you? Spare me, Muradin. You weren't there to see what Malganus did to my homeland. The Dark Lord said you would come. This is where your journey ends, boy. Trapped and freezing at the roof of the world, with only death to sing the tale of your doom. This looks bad. We're completely surrounded. There's still one chance. Help me claim Frostmourne. If it's as powerful as you said, it might tilt the scales in our favor. I have a bad feeling about this, lad. But I promised I'd see this through. Captain, I'll leave you to organize our defense. Let's move out. Okay, Arthas has officially flipped his shit. He's lost his damn mind, and yeah, from a certain perspective, I can kind of see where he's going through, what he's going through, and what he's doing, and his reasons for doing everything that he does, up until the point where he just betrayed the mercenaries, had them all killed for the sake of, uh, the light is my strength. for the sake of concealing what he had done. Betrayer of the light. So now, uh, I mean, even Muradin is is not entirely on board with this. He just feels like he has to. Just surrounded by Milganus' forces, they need the claim for reclaim Frostmourne in order to, uh, of course, in order to potentially of even course. survive this thing. And <laughs> things are falling apart for them. Oh, he's running. It's going to lead us into a trap is what it is. Certainly. Our town is under siege. Now, as we're moving through here, the town will be attacked multiple times. And we're going to have to go and defend against all of these different attacks. Yeah, all right. It'll probably be all right, but... Um, in fact, the enemy force really isn't all that dangerous. We could probably, if I just sat down and focused on defending the town, I could probably set up a good defense, and then I could probably um, even go and destroy the enemy base if I wanted. What ails you? But, uh, especially if I could somehow get Arthas and Murden back over there to help out with the defense. But that's not an option, so i got to go forward with this. The light is my strength. For honor. It's over here. Of course. Nothing over here? I think there's nothing over here. Of course. Ah, dead end. For honor. I'll set up a reasonable defense here. It should hold out long enough. In some ways, the sort of hero, uh... A sound plan. Boom. One of the things I really didn't like about this was the... The whole hero concept that they had stuck. Now, they had hero units in Warcraft 2. Or, um... Beyond the Dark Portal expansion, at least. But it kind of had a little bit of a different meaning to it. The heroes weren't... Well, like, they were oftentimes just regular characters that had higher stats. And they oftentimes needed to survive a mission, but they weren't e enormously special in terms of what they were capable of. Like, Arthas is capable of doing things that no other unit in the game is capable of, and, and all that kind of stuff. 
Unfortunately, this has just sort of resulted in I can win any battle as long as I pay attention to and manage the cooldowns and mana of my hero units. Certainly. That kind of thing. Of course. And I that's kind of an unfortunate thing, I think, because it's sort of taken away some of the strategy and some of the tactical thinking out of the game. I'll, oftentimes, especially real-time strategies, people love, like, StarCraft II and all that kind of stuff. These games, I think, have taken a little bit too much of the strategy and tactical thinking of these games and sort of uh, Command and Conquer's done kind of the same thing, although by different means. These games aren't really what they used to be, I think. And Warcraft 3 was of one course. of the one of the um, reasons for that. Death and darkness are all that await you in this forsaken vault. I doubt there's anything down here more terrifying than what we've faced already. Believe what you will, boy. You shall not pass. Now, I'm not going to say that that's a bad thing, because it's created like a different style of game, and some people like that. And, and not to say that StarCraft, um, StarCraft 2 or uh, Warcraft 3 aren't good games or anything. It's just not the same. Still trying to protect the sword, are you? No. Trying to protect you from it. Oh. <sighs> Behold, Muradin, our salvation. Frostborn. Hold lad. There's an inscription on the dais. Says, whomsoever takes up this blade shall wield power eternal. Just as the blade rends flesh, so must power scar the spirit. Oh, I should have known. The blade is cursed. Let's get the hell out of here. I would gladly bear any curse to save my homeland. Leave it be, Arthas. Forget this business and lead your men home. Damn the men! Nothing shall prevent me from having my revenge, old friend. Not even you. Now, I call out to the spirits of this place. I will give anything, or pay any price, if only you will help me save my people. Arthas, where is Muradin? We can't hold out for much longer. Muradin is dead. But take heart, Captain. The enemy will not stand long against the might of Frostmourne. Muradin is gone. I'm here to help. Arthas has returned, and he has Frostmourne, and he is a couple of kills away from reaching level, uh, what, 10? Is there danger? Yeah. I'm here to help. Now, this play, uh... Now it's a sort of plan. oh we have all sorts of things we can take here now. Of course. Arthas's return has basically given us all that a we really plan. need to mount the offense. Is someone injured. To take the enemy base. So instead of digging around and trying to organize a defense and all that kind of shit, I'm just going to train a bunch of units just in case I fuck this up. Gold is required. And take everybody that's on the defense and just Justice. ram them up there and try to destroy the enemy base. Arthas having made his return is probably enough to really pull this off. For honor. A sound plan. Now Arthas does seem like he has officially lost his shit because he <laughs> watched Murden die. In fact, was sort of, in a way, responsible for it. 
and he's taken up this cursed sword that even the that thing's guardian was like, dude, dude, stay away, this is bad news. He didn't listen, and he got his friend killed. Doesn't seem to have noticed, or barely even noticed, doesn't seem to care at all. Look at that damage he can do now, it's crazy. Level 10 hero unit. Certainly. For honor. Certainly. Now, I don't know if, if he still seems to be talking about revenge, but he also talks about sound plan. Um, defending his people still. So, like, <laughs> I, it still seems like he's still trying to do everything that he's doing for the, for the greater good. But, you know, there's a certain point where, I mean, that sort of becomes an excuse, that feels like it's nothing more than an excuse for a psychotic behavior. Kill that thing. For honor. For my father, the king. Yeah, none of these guys stand a chance. As long as I don't try taking on more than a reasonable amount at any one time. Like, I shouldn't try getting any further north than here. In fact, I should back off of that ziggurat. Let the enemies come to me. Oh, they got a meat wagon up there. For honor. Foul knave. Of course. What do you need? I stand for the horses are under attack. Yeah, even if they die. Probably be all right. Heal him. Oh, there we go. Took you a while, man. Come on now. Whoops. Certainly. For my father, the king. Trying to take out my priest. Damn meat wagon. Now, Arthas will not be invincible here, so you can't just, like, allow everyone to die off and then expect him to go and just boss his way through the whole fight by himself. But it... <laughs> I don't know if it's so much to do with him gaining Frostmourne as it is him reaching Justice level 10. But look at all the strength and stats he has. He's I'm capable of help. crazy damage. Uh, should I go north or south? Has come. Well, I mean, the Necropolis or Black Citadel Justice is up here. Oh, Morganus! Take him out. Yeah, we're about to get our asses kicked. <laughs> Lost a number of units. Now if I destroy this thing before he has a chance to recover, then I'll be alright. How may I serve? Is there danger? Take out the damn meat wagon, bro. I stand for the light. See, so, yeah, yeah, I lost. I lost most of them. You have a target? What do you need? I am ready. For Lordaeron. You have a target? Ah, shit. We'll be all right. What do you need? Because of this. Hmm. <laughs> Plus, Arthas, I mean, I do have some abilities that'll really help his situation out. Click this, and he'll become invulnerable for a time. So this Black Citadel really can't what do shit to stop us. I am on. Foul beast. I stand for the line. Ah, uh, I've waited too long, Morganus of Polyrez. But it'll be alright. 
Because look at all that. Yeah. I had more than that, too, coming, didn't I? Uh, one guy. Time to go. Yes, my friend. As you wish. Right away. Be gone, Spartan. Yeah, as if I needed another gold mine. Or another couple Say of gold word. mines. Of course. The light is my strength. Our forces are under attack. What do you need? Let me at him. Attack! Oh, wow, look at that. How may I say? Justice shall be done. Is there danger? What is your wish? I stand for the light. Listen, lots of people. Is someone injured? Ah. Nobody cares about these guys. I'm not sure what happens when the captain dies. I don't think he can be rezzed. Sort of like a super footman. Jeez, his backup is really not faring too well. I stand for the light. Feel my wrath. Betrayer of the light. Should I bother? I mean, I've sent all of the defense away. <laughs> Ah, that'll just need some guys to take out the aerial units. I'm here to help. So, you've taken up Frostborn at the expense of your comrades' lives, just as the Dark Lord said you would. You're stronger than I thought. You waste your breath, Malganus. I heed only the voice of Frostborn now. You hear the voice of the Dark Lord. He whispers to you, through the blade you wield. What does he say, young human? What does the Dark Lord of the Dead tell you now? He tells me that the time for my vengeance has come. What? He can't possibly mean to... It is finished.
Ah, my son. You no longer need to sacrifice for your people. You no longer need to bear the weight of your crown. I've taken care of everything. This kingdom shall fall, and from the ashes shall arise a new order that will shake the very foundations of the world.